Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 53. And this is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance called Stat Delirium Tremens. And let's see, who did they ban? Why 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 y'all gotta do that though? What my lady death strike do to y'all? But I understand it. Respect, respect. And we got Luke Cage and Count Nefaria. Alright. Let's see what plans they have for me. Oh, I see different peoples. Okay, so Terax, um, honestly, there's I have several counters for Terax. Claire can do it. He doesn't get an armor up, so um, it just needs to be somebody that can deal with him. Um, we've got a Sorcerer Supreme. She has the defense tactics, so we need to be careful with that. Um, she doesn't, if I remember correctly, doesn't get a armor up, so we just need a good counter for her. That is uh, Sequidor. Uh, and we have uh, a few of those. And then we've got Korg, who also doesn't really benefit from this node. And Korg, there's a couple of options for Korg. Um, Diablo could do it. Um, Negasonic can do it. If I bring Claire, uh, she can do it. She can do uh, Terax. And, um, hmm. I can't remember, um, but if she's an attacker tactic, I'm bringing her um, because she'd be able to do those three. And then Corvus could handle uh, Iron Man, Infinity War there. Okay, let's um, check the spreadsheet and see what plans we have. Okay, so for Terax, he wants me to use Wiccan. He know I don't like Wiccan. Um, Sorcerer Supreme, uh, Omega Sentinel, uh, Korg, Wiccan again, and then Corvus for Iron Man Infinity War. Okay, let's check. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing it already. Uh, yeah, we, we, not that. Sequita. Okay. Wait. Huh? I could have sworn I saw Claire with the, um, tag. Is that just because they are Saga? I guess so. That sucks. Because Claire would have been uh, perfect for those. And, of course, they banned Lady Deathstrike. Um, ugh. Really don't like using Wiccan. And I know he's good. I know he can do it. Um, I don't so much mind Omega Sentinel. Uh, let me see. I didn't check. Uh, yep, he does have me. Bullseye. And he has me going up against Bullseye with Stunning Reflection. With Corvus. 
No, 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 no. Mm -mm. That's asking for it. No, honestly, for Bullseye, we really need um, we really need a, a a bleed immune champion, or somebody who is an actual counter for him. Corvus can do it, but Corvus is not bleed immune. I'll take a lot of damage into my block. Um, I can boost up, but unless I have True Strike, that's not a good matchup. All right, so uh, I'll need to talk to uh, I'll need to talk about that one. Uh, I remember uh, having to deal with with uh, that. Okay, so let's go back in here. So we've got ugh. Huh. So he wants me to bring Wiccan for Korg and for um Terax, huh? And who did he have for Sorcerer. Oh, that's Omega Sentinel. So that's the only use of Omega Sentinel is against that Sorcerer Supreme. Hmm. I'm going to think about that one. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to think about this one. I don't I don't like that. Um, all, all the others are fine, but I do not like that matchup. Uh, for Bullseye with uh, Corvus. Um, I can. Let me see. It's not like it's impossible. I hate stunning reflection. Um, goes on. Yeah, if they're either. If they're inflicted with poison or incinerate. Okay. Yeah, and then you got the polka dot power. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This this he can do it if he's bus uh boosted up. He'll have a um he'll have a couple of charges from uh this fight. I might be able to get three. I can't remember. Is he an Avenger? Um, because I might be able to get three there. I'll get the tech. Um, I can possibly get the auto block if he auto blocks. Um, and then boost up with an advanced power boost and go to town. But yeah, that's 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 a little that's a little dicey there. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. We going in with Sandman, Claire, and Ultron. Now, I have to admit something right from the beginning. I messed up this war. I should have gone with the plan that our war planner, our um, leader, came up with for a certain fight. But I didn't. I thought I had a better option. And normally... It would be a good option, but the nodes messed me up. More on that later. Okay, so this first fight is going to be against Terax. Now, I already know Claire handles Terax really well. Uh, I fought Terax many times with Claire. Okay, now I would have chosen like Absorbing Man, who also could have done this fight, but my Absorbing Man is on defense. So he was not available. But Claire, she rocks. Okay? She absolutely rocks. Um, I cannot wait for her to come as a seven star. I don't even know if she is. But when they had that little mix up where they announced that she was going to be a seven star. And uh, they had her in the voting. 
And of course she was winning. She was winning hands down. Okay. And they were like, oops, we made a mistake. So from that, I'm hoping she's going to be available as a seven star someday. But for now, my six star will do the job. Okay. She, she's awesome. I love her. All right. Um, so Terex went down pretty easily. Uh, no problem there. Now, this fight here. Um, Sandman can do this fight very easily. Okay. But I want you to watch how I played this. All right. So, first of all, I'm not being as aggressive as I need to be. Okay. With Sandman, I needed to be aggressive. Okay. And then see how I backed off here? That should have been a um, right into a special. Okay. But instead, I'm sitting here trying to bait out um, special attacks. That's not what I should do. Okay. And see, look at that. See that miss? Because I waited too long. Okay. This is not how you want to play uh, against someone with a defense tactic. See, look at that. I did. I got another miss. Look at this. Just boom. And I'm done. I sat here after that happened and was like, I do not believe I just did that. I can't believe it. Okay. So I knew that I had messed up. This is not the mess up I'm I was talking about earlier, by the way. This was another mess up. Uh, so I sat here like, can you believe this? So I shook it off and was like, okay, all right. We're going to run that back. And this time, I'm not going to play like I'm scared. Because that ain't the way to play not Sandman, not against uh, Sorcerer Supreme, especially given the defense tactic that we have going on right now. Uh, the more passively you play, the more you give them a chance to do just what you saw there and it'll get out of hand. And then that's that. Okay. So all the while here, I'm thinking one word revenge that is what i'm thinking about right now now you are supposed to pause after you die and ask if you want to continue and that kind of thing but if you think you can you know do it and i'm like i really think i can do this fight properly that one that was just a mess up you know you see i didn't even take a lot of health off OK, but first of all, I wasn't even playing Sandman the way that you're supposed to play him and I wasn't playing aggressively. So now here we go. Round two. Let's see the difference in this fight. OK, now I'm just going in. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going in. Aggression. Aggression. Watch this. Hey, boom. OK, I did bait that out. But now, bam. Hit him with it. Bam. Boom. Okay. Right into the special. All right. Pause. Heavy attack. Bam. Heavy attack. Bam. Heavy attack. Bam. Don't you love it? Woo. Get him. Look at this. Boom. 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 Hey. Hey. Ooh. Into a special two. And the fight's over. That is what it should have looked like the first time we fought against her that should tell you just how badly i messed up that first one i just wasn't playing right so we got our revenge okay much better much much better all right on to section two we got korg now claire is awesome against korg because she doesn't really make contact it's beautiful so i can basically as long as i know how to evade 
you know, his specials and stuff. We're going, we're doing well. We're doing well. All right. So, oh, I hate when that happens, but that's okay. And I can just do my regular five hit combos. Shield is down now. Just that easy. All right. And that we evade. Hit him with it. Get him with that nice special two. Boom, boom. All right. His shield is back up, but we're chewing it down again. Now, if you didn't know, every time you get his shield down, it comes back weaker. So you'll be getting it down faster and faster as time goes on. Okay. He comes back with less charges, all that good stuff. Okay. So you can see here, we're just rocking it. Okay. He's going to get his uh, shield back. But look, it's almost down again. Boom. Down again. Just like that. Okay. So pretty, pretty easy fight. Pretty straightforward fight. The only thing that used to get me was when I didn't know how to evade his special one. Okay. Then I would always get hit with it. It was not a good time. It would chew me alive. You know, chew me up alive. But there we go. Korg down. Oh, if I get her as a seven star. And she doesn't even need to be awakened? At all? I get her. She's going to rank three. They, they ain't no question about it. As soon as I get the resources, she's going to rank three. But we got to get her in the um, contest. Okay, now we're going up against Iron Man. Infinity War. Now, this Iron Man, I was fairly certain that my um, Sandman could handle this fight. Uh, even though Iron Man gets those armor ups, Sandman is immune to shock. So on this node, if they have an armor up and you hit them, you're going to get a nasty shock. So either you want someone who can remove prevent the uh armor ups or you want to go in with a shock immune champion or both you know i could have also used beta ray bill okay um he would have done fine here but that fight would have been a little bit longer because they changed the node a while back when nebula of all people was rocking it they made it so that anyone on this is immune to shock look at look at look at look at sam man look at him just tan it up all right yeah go sam man mr sandman bring me a dream sam man is just awesome you don't see a lot of folks playing him but that's okay i'm here we'll play him and as you can see he's getting the job done he works mm-hmm Get the job done. Okay, I got parried, but that's fine. Look at this. Look at this. Power locked and rooted. He is just working it. Look up Sandman's kit, and you'll see how that happens. And he basically gets more damage the more heavies he, he uh, lands. Okay. But just look at this. <clears throat> I'm not even rooting him this time. I'm just like, yeah, let's just go. Hit him with it. And fire up that special three, which he can't parry. He can't dodge. He can't do nothing to. Go ahead, Sam, man. Oh, caught him. Mm. And then, bam. You see, he went to 1%. But then he got taken out. That 1% is really, really annoying, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway. So that is my path. Now we come to the fight. The fight that I should have just followed the plan. So the plan, and uh, I had one person ask me, who do we use for that bullseye on node 49? The plan was to use Corvus. Use Corvus, power start one, and just go to town. Okay. Um, it's polka dot power, so you're not going to gain any power. Um, but you should be able to get him down before 
he takes you out. I was telling um, our leader that I don't like Corvus for that fight, which I don't, because it's like you're on the edge of your seat. You know, it's a race. So now if I had a true strike, it would be better because then I wouldn't have to worry about that killer instinct and I could just, you know, push him, just keep going and just rock him, okay? But in this particular case, I wasn't bringing Proxima, so I did not have a true strike. And I thought Ultron would be a great counter because Ultron is bleed immune. Corvus is not. So uh, with Corvus, I'd be taking a lot of damage against the uh, on my block. So here, I want you to see what happens here. Okay. All right, now he's got the killer instinct. So now, I'm blocking that. I'm still taking damage. Okay. And I'm like, man. And then look at my health. Do you know why my health is going? The no. I forgot that... The main thing about this node that really messed me over is that, look at that, even, even my indestructibles, don't matter. Look at it, I'm just getting ripped up, okay? The reason is the longer you don't hit them, you get a degen that will take out all your health. You have to land a hit to stop it. But how can you land a hit if he's got his killer instinct up? And if he decides not to throw his special, what you gonna do? Okay, so that was just a bad idea right there. And I evaluated that fight and I told them, you know, uh, I can't do it. The, uh, you know, I felt so bad. Um, and I thought about going back in, but I said, no, that, that node really messed me up. And you can look here, and that, cause I had to go back and look to see what happened, what was going on. And that D gen is what got me. Okay. The D gen. So what happened after this, that, uh, you won't see in the video. One of my Alliance mates came over with Negasonic and Negasonic can do that fight, but he messed up because he didn't know one thing and I didn't know one thing. So when I looked at that node, it said that the, um, the stunning reflection, that stun shield goes down when they're inflicted with an incinerate or a poison. Well, he came in with Negasonic, put the incinerate on. Now he can parry. And you know, Negasonic is a counter for bullseye, right? So he was doing okay, but then it came off cooldown because it only puts it on cooldown. It came off cooldown. Bullseye was still incinerated, but the text does not say while inflicted with a incinerate. It says when inflicted, or I should say while suffering from an incinerate. So what that means is that when it goes back up, when the shield comes back up, you have to inflict them with another incinerate to put it back down. I didn't know that. He didn't know that. And so when he went in there and he was doing well and then the shield came back up, but he saw incinerate still on him, he tried to parry. And that's that. That Just that one mistake, parry, he got stunned, ba -da 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 -da, boom, done. Um, so it is what it is, all right? Uh, didn't realize it. I think I have the, um, yeah, I might, I might, you might see the, uh, video, uh, up because I think he posted the video. Uh, so I'm going to show you what happened. Uh, but anyway, uh, a, another came and we did, we did manage to keep getting, or we managed to keep one attack bonus. So we got one attack bonus on this fight. All right, so we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Surprise, surprise, even with that uh, mess up. 
I'm so happy that we won this one because I felt so bad um, for for that particular uh, fight. Um, I really just don't like um, using Corvus for that fight, but it seems like he's a good option. But Negasonic is also a good option uh, for that fight if you play it right. All right, but anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Prime.